welcome back to another episode of Teenage Wasteland. Today we're doing another Celestial Seasoning Zinger. This one is the Raspberry Zinger. Um, to help cancel out the sickly sweet of the Oreos that I just reviewed. Uh, oh god. So, yeah, one of the Zingers will be great right now. And keeping with the theme of Raspberry today, because I also just reviewed this today as well. So, I went ahead and brewed myself a cup. It is dark, dark, dark. I don't know if it can show without spilling. I don't think we can. Yeah, you know we can a little bit, a little bit. It's almost black. It's so red. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> so, uh, but first, can we appreciate the box art with the hibiscus flowers and the tropics and the flying raspberries? It's great. So the blend masters. No, I'm letting this cool a little bit before I taste it. This robust herbal brew gets its sweet tart aroma and taste from tangy, <laughs> tangy fruity hibiscus, the zing in every zinger, and ripe red raspberry flavor. Soothing and satisfying warm, it's the very taste of a summer's day when served over ice. Okay, and then a tasteful heritage. The story of Celestial Seasoning starts back in 1969. We start out picking fresh herbs from the fields and forests of the Rocky Mountains and carefully blending them to create uniquely delicious teas. Today we offer more than 100 different varieties made with no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives, just the very best herbs, teas, spices, and botanicals always blended with care. Between true friends, even water drunk together is sweet enough. A Zimbabwean proverb. Aww, I like that. Aww. Okay, so in this we have hibiscus rose hips roasted chicory, orange peel, blackberry leaves, natural raspberry flavor with other natural flavors, raspberries, and raspberry leaves. It is caffeine and gluten-free. Okay. So there's that. You definitely get a lot of the raspberry scent in there. That is actually quite lovely. Which is better than the bags themselves smell. The bags, I was not too impressed just sniffing those. I always did the little sniffy sniffy with the bags. Um, anyway. That does smell like legit fresh raspberry. Hold on just one second. Yeah, sorry about that. Let us go ahead and give a sip. I did not sweeten this with anything. Actually, it's Pride Month. Let's have this side out. Okay. So, I did not sweeten this with anything. Um, no honey, no sugar, no stevia, no splenda, none of that. This is just as it is, straight from the tea bag. You know, it's like drinking a tart raspberry. The hibiscus works here. Normally I'm like, ooh, where the, the hibiscus being way too bitter on its own without sweetening it. Either I'm getting more used to it with the more zingers I drink, or it just really works in this one, because this one, I am actually not opposed to that. Or maybe it's just that it's canceling out the sweet of those cookies that were just way too much. I don't know, whatever it is, I, I like this a lot. I'm sure if it were sweetened up a little tiny bit, just a little hair, it'd probably be really good too, but I'm just going to have it as is. I like this. But I also adore legit raspberries too, so there's that. And in addition to the raspberry berry taste, you do actually taste the raspberry leaves as well. There's like a green taste in there too. That's such a trip. And I feel like the hibiscus just kind of blends in with the raspberry in this one. It's not like two distinct flavors like it normally is. This one, it just blends seamlessly. I like that. I approve. If you want it sweeter, go ahead and sweeten it up a little, but... I think it's good as is, especially if you're a fan of just regular raspberries. I think you'll like this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm giving this one a 5 out of 5 rating, which I don't do too often with teas. But you know, this one I think is deserving. This may be the best, most natural of the zingers that I've had yet. And yeah, I'd say that's speaking as somebody who adored that watermelon lime one, but I think I actually like this one more. So anyways, that's it for me for this one. Not a whole lot to say here, but it's good. You should buy it. So, anyway. Ah, that's it. So, as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, 
click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, um, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, all that and more, it's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support, the donation link as always is down in the description. So anyway guys, until next time, see ya.